So here is my Lund Trifold cover uh, Genesis model. Um, it's probably one of the uh, poorer investments I've made on my truck. Um, I wanted to replace my X-Tang cover that I had no trouble with uh, for many, many years only because I couldn't deal with the snaps in the wintertime anymore and I figured I'd buy this. So it's only four and a half years old and the, uh, well, one of the hinges broke on it. And when I spoke to Lund about getting a replacement hinge, they said, well, we redesigned that cover, so we don't have those parts anymore. So now what do you do? You throw away your $300 cover? Or do you get creative? Let me show you. Okay, so the hinge that broke... right here so I looked around a little bit on the internet and I was able to find pieces um, without Lund's help of course uh, and then I came across this service kit from uh, from Chrysler it's uh, part number six eight one nine four one 01AA-001 and this is actually all the hinges and the foam for a Lund cover. Too bad Lund couldn't tell me that, huh? I did say that I felt this cover was a poor investment. Well, one of the things that I hate about this cover the most is this latching mechanism. So, if you're not careful when you go to latch this, you can catch your finger on this nice screw here and you should take the uh, the bottom of your thumb off or maybe the tip of your finger. Um, I've only done that, uh, I don't know, 25 times. Um, it, it's hard to uh, to think when you can't see, or excuse me, it's hard to, uh, to latch the thing when you really can't see it when you're reaching in like this, especially um, the one that's up at the front. So I imagine that this is probably one of the, the major redesigns that Lund made. Oh, good job, guys. Anyhow, let's get on to fixing this cover. So, what's in this repair kit? Well, let's take a look. This was about $60. Uh, if you shop online, you could find it. Uh, I got it through my, my local body shop connection. So again, it's uh, 6819-4101-AA-001. So, you get a piece of foam tape, you get some more foam tape, and we get four hinges. So, the difference between the hinges are we have the ones for the front portion of the cover. They're taller because when you fold the cover up three times, you need the height. And then the short ones are for the back. Get some screws. course we get instructions which don't use just kidding okay so to replace the hinge all you need is a Phillips screwdriver and a razor knife first thing you need to do is take a razor knife and cut the foam right across the top where the plastic turns to aluminum Then take your Phillips screwdriver remove your screw and that piece pulls out. We're going to do the same on the bottom.
screws out, hinges out. Okay, so I've taken my short replacement hinge for the rear and I've started it into the bottom and top parts of the cover. I just want to give them a little slide. And then you can take your screws One, so I should mention the application for this repair kit looks like it's for um, Lund covers or excuse me, Mopar covers trifold uh, from two thousand. 11-ish to 2015, 2016. I guess it's nice to get all the pieces instead of just, uh, you can buy the hinges individually, I think, from Jags if, if they can still get them, I don't know. Um, but they don't come with any of the foam. All right, so now that our screw is tight, we take one of our short form, uh, foam blocks the paper wants to release them it goes right there and then the other foam that comes I believe would go across here so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna Overlap it just a touch. And cut it like so. And the same thing on the bottom. that. I'm going to do the other three and then uh, we'll get back with you. Alright, I had to take the cover off to do the, the front hinges so just figured I'd show you a little detail. I already pulled off the old one. Both of the front hinges were actually in good shape. The hinge from the other side though in the back, that was also broken. Didn't even realize that. Anyway, so once again These lined up. I'll just give them a little shove. And I decided it would be a little faster with the screw gun. And then finally, the foam. This one's shaped like a T. And for the top connection, what I did was just a small overlap, quarter inch is good, I guess. And then I'm cutting it right with the edge of the hinge. So the cover will fit a little tight, I guess, in the beginning until this foam settles down. And there you go. 
Okay, so now that I've got the cover back on and in place, I guess the new foam really uh, is thick compared to the dead foam that's uh, left. You can see the nice light gap pretty much all the way around. So uh, I guess I'll take a run to Home Depot and see if I can get some foam. So I'll be back in a bit. All right, so quick trip over to our home center, and we got uh, three packages of this Frost King, an inch and a quarter by seven sixteenths inch thick, uh, ten feet long foam, and it says this is ideal for automotive and marine. So I've got the cover off the truck in the backyard here because it's easier to flip it over this way and get to it. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to replace all the the pieces of uh, a foam here. I'm just going to go right over the top of them. I've already cleaned them, so uh, I'm going to get going on that. All right, so what I'm going to basically do is I'm just going to replace the foam from here to here to here to there. Um, I'm going to just basically bring it up to these foam blocks that are on here already. So. I've always had a problem with this cover leaking anyway, so maybe this will finally take care of it. Although I can't say it was ever the best from being new. Just overall, I've just been pretty dissatisfied with this cover, but uh, I can't really throw it out right now. Alright, so there's the first piece put back on. I'll do the uh, other one, two, three, five, seven, seven pieces, and uh, we'll put you back on. All right, so here's all the foam tape on there. It's got a little wobble on there. I uh, just want to let you know that this Frost King tape, the sticky back on it is extremely sticky, so you better be committed to putting it where you want to, because once it's there, it's stuck. All right, let me go put this back on the truck. All right, the cover's back on and can't see light anymore. That white spot over there is a piece of tape I have to mark the location. Of course, I did manage to pinch my finger on that stupid latch, like I said. So, this time I didn't uh, break the skin, but uh, I'm going to have a nice blister there. So, anyhow, that's it. So, cover looks good. So I guess uh, it'll last a little bit longer now, this uh, crappy cover. I still hate it. Anyhow, as always, thanks for watching.